Hi everyone, welcome back to today's tutorial on async await in Python. In this video, I will explore what asynchronous programming is, why it is beneficial, and how you can use async await to write more efficient and scalable Python code. Let's dive in. What is asynchronous programming? Before we dive into async await, let's quickly understand what asynchronous programming is. In synchronous programming, tasks are performed one after another. If a task takes time, the program waits until it is done before moving on. In asynchronous programming, tasks can be performed concurrently, meaning one task can run while waiting for another to complete. This is especially useful for input-output bound operations like network requests or file reading. Benefits of using asynchronous programming. Now, why should you care about asynchronous programming? Here are a few benefits. The first one is efficiency. It allows your program to handle other tasks while waiting for input output operations to complete. The other is scalability. Asynchronous code can handle many tasks simultaneously, making it ideal for web servers and applications that require high concurrency. It also helps us in creating responsive applications, especially in scenarios involving user interactions or real-time data. Let's set up asynchronous. Now let's get started with async await in Python. You need to understand the async library, which is part of the standard library in Python 3 and Java. Let's see how to set it up. You first import async. You need to import the async module. This module provides the foundation for writing asynchronous programs in Python. Now, let's write our first async function. Here is a simple example to illustrate the basic syntax. In this example, we define an async function, say hello, that prints hello, waiting for five seconds, and then prints wallet. The await keyword is used to call asynchronous functions that return coroutines. Asyncio.run is used to run the coroutine. A coroutine is a special type of function in Python that can be paused and resumed during its execution, allowing it to perform asynchronous operations. Coroutines are defined using the async def syntax and use the await keyword to pause execution until the awaited task is completed. Let's dive a bit deeper into how they work. Let's start by writing a function to fetch data from a URL asynchronously using the AIO HTTP library. This will be the first part of our practical example. You first import AIO HTTP and define the function fetch using a sync dev keyword. And this function fetch takes a decision and a URL as parameters features the URL content asynchronously and returns the response text. The await response.text waits for the response text to be ready. Now let's create the main function that will manage multiple each tasks concurrently. This will complete our practical example. In this, in the main function, we create an IO stp.client session and a list of URLs. We then create a list of each tasks using a list comprehension. Asyncio.gather runs all the pitch tasks concurrently and waits for them to complete. The results are printed after all tasks have finished. When to use async await? Async await is particularly useful in the following scenarios. The first one is input output bound operations such as network requests, database operations, and file input-output operations. The second is real-time applications, like chat applications, live videos, and online games. And the other is high concurrency, when you need to handle many tasks at once without blocking the main thread. However, the CPU-bound tasks, you might want to consider multiple threading or multi-processing. That's a wrap on our tutorial on async await in Python. I've covered what asynchronous programming is, the benefits of using async await, and walked through some examples. If you found this video tutorial helpful, 
please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials thanks for watching today